All together now. Here we go, brownies. Here we go. Here we go, brownies. Here we go. Here we go, brownies. Here we go. Uh, the camp's about teaching kids uh, hard work, teaching them cooperation, teaching them uh, how to work with other people, uh, teaching them how to take direction, uh, teaching them how to work through some adversity when they get a bump or a bruise. And, um, you know, it's, 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 it's uh, being out here, being a Browns fan, um, which I'm a big Browns fan. So I think it's about a lot of things. But basically it's about having some fun out here today and learning some fundamentals of the game of football. There you go. Oh, good ball. All right, quarterback, quarterback. Are you gonna run me over? He's just gonna run you over. We didn't have camps like this growing up, um, and so if, if somebody in your community can, you know, be able to do stuff like this, I think they should. And so these guys out here doing tremendous guys, it's a lot of talent out here. Specific message you want want to deliver when you talk to these kids? Uh, really, just you know, never to give up, and always you know, reach for your dreams, always strive high, and you know, stay motivated and keep your grades up high. I keep hearing them calling you coach out here. How does that feel? <laughs> I mean, it's a different look. I ain't never been called coach until today. <laughs> I mean, but hey, you know, if I can be a coach to these kids and you know, and, and mentor these kids, and you know, it's it's big for me because I I know in my days and, and I still keep in touch with my little league coaches, but. I know one dude I always keep in touch with and I always have with me is my high school coach. And he showed me a lot about the game and, and, I, and, and any activity I try to do or any activity I have as far as a, a, any award or any, any any academics awards, I'm showing coach first or, you know, I'm, I'm bringing him with me. And, and, you know, stuff like that goes a long way. And, you know, just for me being out here, I think it's going to go a long way with them. You know, they can tell their kids or whatever, you know, they had way down the line. You know, I was at that camp with him, or he he made me think about playing football and staying out of trouble. Trent, who's been the most influential person in your life? Oh, uh, my mom. My mom's been very influenced in me. Uh, she's a strong woman. She worked two or three jobs and worked on um, growing up, and she was a single parent, and she raised no more boys. I mean, so I know, I know I was a handful when I was growing up, and I'm pretty sure my brother can tell you that he was a handful growing up. <laughs> And we wasn't no, you know, easy going kids. We grew up right in the hood. And so it was it was tough for us to make it out of there. And, you know, for my mama just to put us in sports, um, just to keep us out of trouble. And she made sure that we was consistent in everything we did and made and, and, you know, sports disciplined in us. And, you know, not only her disciplined in us, our coaches disciplined in us. And if we didn't have the grades, we weren't playing. or. We wasn't on time. We was gonna run a lap, or we were fighting with our teammates. We were gonna run a lap, holding the hands around, the, uh, going around the field. And so <laughs> that's something we didn't want to do. So there's a lot of discipline going on. What was the best advice you got from her? She always told me to, to never let nobody tell me what I can't do. Mm. And, and as far as that, I had a seventh grade teacher tell me I wasn't gonna be nothing, and I was gonna always be a failure in life. And look where I'm at now. Give me some! Give me some!